that song of, uh, I'm not going to say the South, of Solomon. Oh. It's pretty horny. Hey, I like a horny book, because no one can hear you when you scream. <laughs> what? Because you come in your head. If you're a girl, if you're a guy, you come with your head. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but you looked confused. Okay, I appreciate that. I'm sorry. You ever read that? Uh, what are those books? The Fifty Shades of uh, Grey books. Fifty you ever Shades read those? of Grey, yeah, baby. Uh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you're incapacitated just thinking about it. I'm incapacitated. I need to be locked up. <laughs> so you're into... Horny literature. Uh, horny literature, but also... Uh, uh, the Bible. Sado mas- <laughs> And being tied up, yeah, locked up, thrown up. Yeah, wasn't uh, wasn't Samson tied up or? You think I memorized the book? I read it once. <laughs> I could tell you what generally happened in any book I've read once. Okay, what book have you read once? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not so easy when you put on the spot. Yeah. You don't know what books you've read because you never really read any, did you? Hmm. Because your eyes don't really work, do they? I'm blind! <laughs> Finally out with it. What did you just do in front of me? <laughs> this magic trick? I heard a noise, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't see. Yeah, anyway, that was... Yeah, we were continuing. But you were making such clear eye contact with me that I got confused. <laughs> On your own bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look. Where, where does this guy work? Okay, so he was... Were you caught by Claire's or no? Um, I was caught, and I've been since fired, and I now only work at Baskin Robbins, and I'm trying to figure out a couple other things. You guys have Baskin Robbins 31 Flavors? <laughs> yeah, I work there. You want me to list the 31 Flavors? Sure. <laughs> Peach, brown, chocolate, vanilla. <laughs> Rainbow, crayons, Carmichael. <laughs> um... Raisin Bran, Pecan, <laughs> Pecan Crunch, go, uh, go Gurt. Are you counting? <laughs> You're up to eight. <laughs> uh, green, pink, banana, strawberry, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream is a flavor? We got quiz on this every day. You're, uh, let me just tell you. Most of these sound like fake flavors that you're just making up in your head. We have to have 31. You think they're all real? Wait, so the 31 flavors are just whatever you decide they are? Mauve, brown. <laughs> Did I say brown? Um, cream, sweet milk. Uh, There's a real one. <laughs> raspberry bonanza. Hmm. Superman. Superman is a flavor, or are yeah. you calling me Superman? I'm definitely you pointed not calling at me. you Superman. I'm saying you'd like that one, because it's blue. Like boys like. And the name is Superman, dum-dum. I'm dum-dum. so... Ca- <laughs> are you calling me dum-dum, no, or that's dum-dum's a flavor? A flavor? Okay. Bubble gum. Who's a what's it? That's the one where we mix up all the ones that are left over and put them into one. It sounds delicious, actually. It tastes like shit. Okay. Um, white. <laughs> Are you sure that's not vanilla? Um, no, it's not vanilla. It's different. It's not it's sweet It's actually, milk. uh, pushing white. Okay. <laughs> that's a reference to, to something that I thought you didn't know about, which was... Trust Clint's, me, I Clint's know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I probably named enough, but yeah, I could you go named on. enough, definitely. Red. Anyway, I'm done. So this, this gentleman that you are yes. into, he I'm works... I'm in love with him, I think. Is 31 Flavors at the mall, or that's off-site? It's, um, 31 Flavors is at the mall, and so is Claire's. It was very convenient for me, because I could put on two different uniforms and pretend to be two different people. Like hmm. Superman. What that- do you mean? <laughs> that's part of his whole deal. Okay, well, I'm not trying to be him. I'm me, okay? Would Better you go respect. into a janitor's closet and, like, strip Ew. open your... <laughs> You think I walked to a Jado's closet and went, my tits? <laughs> no, I would show my dick first. <laughs> Showing to the janitor. He was in there. That was unrelated to changing. I would just go in there and go, woo! <laughs> I don't have a dick. I know. You do? <laughs> I've never shown you my genitalia, though you beg. 
Who does cares that what it is? Um, but where does he work? Where is this he guy works work? at Wetzel's Pretzels. Really? That's one of the few businesses whose name rhymes. I bet that's not true. There's Wetzel's Pretzels, Eat a Pita, the end. Um, hold on. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> First of all, that's Little Caesars. And you can't just rhyme a but word. But kids by probably call words. it pizza, pizza. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> um, there's bagel, kegel. <laughs> so it's just people squeezing their. That's how you make sure the cream cheese got on. Just wait. <laughs> I don't want to say these things. <laughs> Um, anyways, he works at Wetzel's Pretzels, and he looks so cute in that little yellow and, and blue uniform, and he twists the pretzels all day. And his hair is as long as, uh, as, long as you can imagine. <laughs> I'm imagining like a two-inch crew cut kind of okay. situation, or... I take a shroom and imagine hair that goes down to there. Whoa! <laughs> His hair uh, is... Does he have to wear a hairnet around the pretzels? He wears it only on the top. You know how people do that sometimes? <laughs> it's like, I guess it's keeping in a bunch, but not really. Yeah, it doesn't seem like It goes it's... down to the floor, and it's three stripes. <laughs> Color stripes? And it's very perfectly convenient, because it's actually only two colors, mm. but it's red, white, red, like the Canadian flag. Oh, He's Canadian. He has the cutest accent I've ever heard in my freaking life. What's his sound? Does he say sorry? He's like, and sorry about how I didn't see you there, Tracy. You're sure he's from Canada? <laughs> I'm just judging by the flag on his head. But I'm pretty sure the accent's so cute. Are you sure he's not like into something like the white stripes or something? He's what do you mean? That was their color scheme as well. Red, white, and red? <laughs> yes. You, you, you literally described a white stripe. Hey, wait, let's do... <laughs> let's, do a, let's do a game. Okay. I'm going to come up with the first half of a joke, and you do the punchline. Okay. We used to play this on the show. Oh, cool. It was called Riddle Me This. But... Oh, perfect. Let's do it right now. Okay, here we go. What's red and white and red? Don't say my boyfriend's head. <laughs> okay. Um... David Duke after he gets shot in both arms. <laughs> Not that I'm advocating for that you or any it. kind of violence. Okay. Cool. Good game. Good game. All right. <laughs> Always good feels game. good to end on a high note. <laughs> <laughs> good sportsmanship. That's yeah. what I like about this game. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, anyways, I barely ever really talk to him, though. It's like every time I go up to him, it's like he just did, he barely even saw me. And he's always apologizing because he didn't really see me. How do you make yourself noticed? So he, what is he doing when you go up to him? Is he... He's making pretzels, like whipping the dough, salt in the dough, is toast this part in of the his dough. Job, or? No, he's joking off. <laughs> You know, whip, salt, the dough. No, he's making a pretzel, my man. Yeah. So he, he's, he does he's not see you. Making blades. Yeah. And he puts them into the little container, and they cook and get brown. Does he ever accidentally cook his hair? Um, no, because it's all on the floor, getting all that lemonade all over it. Mm. They make the saltiest and sweetest lemonade you've ever had in your life. It'll make you feel like your teeth are screaming. Just like reading that book. Yeah, that's different. That's a different kind of scream. Mm -hmm. It's a silent scream. comes from within. You ever had sex with a woman? <laughs> Depends on the woman. Does it? <laughs> you mean I'm just naming any woman and you're saying no to nine billion of them, <laughs> yes to one? <laughs> Gotta name them all. How many women have you had sex with? Be honest. <laughs> You can be honest. <laughs> can I? Thank you so much. <laughs> Look, all that's behind me. Okay. So they penetrated you? <laughs> <clears throat> There's no shame in the game. <laughs> Take it how you want it. I hump pillows mainly. Yeah. You Do know, you my company, Pillowettes, is really taking off. 
for the five people who don't know what this show is, I, um, I have a company where I make pillows because I like to hump pillows, so I put the silhouette of people I like on them and I call them pillowettes, and then I hump them. And it's fantastic, dog. And people are buying them like hotcakes on my website. I can barely keep up with the, with the amount I have to make. What are the silhouettes that you have? That, uh... It's anyone's crush. So I take... Oh, they, so they can bring you the silhouette. They, they have the to get the silhouette. So they have to get... Do you the... have to stalk the person and take a picture of them? They so... do. They have to get the crush no. to stand in front of a light box and draw <laughs> on a piece of paper. That I then scan. Why my don't, in, why my don't they just <laughs> say, I like you? To the crush? Yeah, instead of going through this whole... So does it always work out for you when you say you like someone, and then they're like, I like you back, let's... Because every time I had a crush, they never liked me back. Mm. And I just have to hump the pillow and think about them forever. But at least you get it out of the way if you say, hey, I like you, and they say, I don't feel that way about you, Tracy, then you can move on to the next person. It's hard to move on when you're in love. I feel deep, deep passion and romance for everyone I've ever had a crush on. I was recently dating my mailman very seriously... He was bringing me letters for years. Not Putting written by my, him. Well, it can't be proven. <laughs> Have you ever seen where your SoCal gas bill comes from? Your mailman might be typing that as a love letter to you. Was and it reciprocated? Was he... Ultimately, no. I um, sat in my window every day for two years uh, at exactly 4 p.m. when he would come. He'd put the letters in the mailbox... I would just look at him because I was too afraid to talk to him in case perhaps he wouldn't like me back because I'm a child. (laughs) And then one day I had the guts and I chased after him on my Razor scooter. (laughs) I hit a bump in the road. I flew into a tree. I landed right in the squirrel's hole. (laughs) And then my tongue went inside a squirrel's mouth. (laughs) Because I landed like this. (laughs) So you got to first base with a squirrel. Supposedly, but they call it something else. It's first branch. <laughs> but actually, Frenching is second branch. For a squirrel, first branch is shaking hands. Second branch is making out. Third branch is up the tail. Fourth branch is moving in and getting married. <laughs> when do they get the nut? When they're hungry. Right. So you, you have not told this... What's this guy's name? Oh, I haven't told you his name. Okay. We, let's start now. Okay, you want to hangman it? Anything to prolong this. <laughs> how, many, how many letters? Six. You were counting for so long. <laughs> okay, six. I do kept I, counting wrong. Do I get vowels or do I have to... You can guess any letter you want. Any letter I want. Uh, e. No. That's a, that's a head on the hangman. That's a head, right. Uh, T. Nope. That's a body. R. Well, yes, you got that. That's the second letter. It's an unconventional name. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, S. Nope, that's your leg. I. You got it. That comes after the R. Okay. There are six letters. So far, you got space, R, I, space, space, okay. space. B. You got it. That's the first letter. B-R-I, space, space, space. N? Nope. You got another leg. You're going down, man. G? Nope. That's a foot. I'm being very generous giving you feet. X? No, that's another foot. But it feels like you wanted that one. I thought it might be Brixton. No. It's a much weirder name. How am I going to get this? Keep guessing the alphabet. Z. No, that's an arm. Do you have an arm? I don't know. Does he? No, you have an arm. M. No, another arm. T. Jeez. No, you have a hand. Jesus. It's like you don't want to win. C. No, that's another hand. You're almost dead. I'm going to give you two X's for eyes. A. No, X. D. No, another X. You're dead. His name's Willow. <laughs> like the pad? Yes. His last name is Pad. <laughs> I could be Tracy Pad if it all goes right. Don't you always think about that? Put your name with your crush's last name and what your name would be? I, well, because I'm a man, I would always uh, force them to take my name in my head. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
And it would just be Mrs. Scott Ackerman. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and you would call them Scott? <laughs> oh, Scott. <laughs> Don't use that as your wing tone. <laughs> What happened between our relationship? You used to have a crush on me, and now... Well, guess what? You didn't like me back. No, I didn't. I was very so clear with you. So I had to shred you. my pillow into a million pillows. <laughs> I donated them to small mice. That's very nice of you. Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't know, uh, Tracy, I don't have any... Uh, I mean, w- when I was uh, a guy who was in the market for this kind of thing, I loved it when someone would come up to me and just tell me how they felt about me. When was the last time that happened to you? Uh, let's see. I was married on September 13 of 2008. So September 12, 2008. Someone told you they like you the day before, or was it Kulop? <laughs> it was Kulop. She's like, I like you, and then you're like, let's get married tomorrow. Yep. You're Sound desperate. All went down, yeah. <laughs> you really put it on lock. <laughs> yeah, you did. Fast. Would you get married to, to him if, if to Brillo? Brillo? If Brillo wanted to marry me, I would do it, but I want to wait till I'm 18 to make sure I'm fully mature. Right. How old is he? <sighs> That's the hard part. Well, I, can't, I can't tell whether this is going low or high. <laughs> He's 69. <laughs> But think about all that hair, those good jeans. He's 69, he's got hair down to the floor, and it's thick. You could ride it. If he was galloping, you could hold on and hang. Like an Indiana Jones situation? Oh, you don't know what I I'm talking know. about. Yep. Uh, you should not be dating a 69-year-old man, Why no matter not? how... He's well, experienced. I mean, he knows everything about Just because everything. he is 69 doesn't mean that he can do a 69... <laughs> Anyone can do a 69. You just need somebody to turn around. (laughs) Someone's got to commit. I'm not interested. I'm only sexual in a fantasy sort of way. You've never actually, as they say, done it. I've never really done it. Yeah. I've done all the stuff, but not really it. Right. Can you describe what it is? (laughs) Just for the people at home who might not know. I think there are people at home who can hear me. Ah. Tracy, it's a wonderful thing when two uh, uh, people, one of them a stepbrother, the other a stepsister, (laughs) um, get together and... And that brings a tear to your eye? (laughs) I'm not going to describe sex I don't have a stepbrother. How am I supposed to have sex? I know. These days? I don't know. I guess it's not going to happen unless Willow gets finally interested in me. I, you, you have to set your sights younger. Really? Uh, that's what I said to myself when I met Kula. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I would have okay. gotten it. Okay, Tracy Reardon, everyone. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Tracy, you can stick around, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Where should I go, over here? Yeah, why not? Okay. Our next guest is, uh, I, I mentioned he's in the uh, 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 aquatic industry. You did? Yeah. What, what type of job does that say to you? Um, scuba diver, swim instructor, um, uh, that's all I got. <laughs> Those wrong? Those are the two people that you've seen in the sea. In the sea? I haven't seen any people in the sea. Really? Yeah. You've never been to a beach? Oh, but they're not, well, yeah, I guess I've been to the beach. Those are people in the sea? I'm not talking to you anymore. All right. (laughs) He is actually a treasure hunter. Please welcome Brock Lovitz. You're so far away. Yeah. Be in betweeny. Brock Lovitz. Freeze. Rock. Rock, it's so great to see you again. Thanks, Scott. It's good to be here. <laughs> Never prepared for it. I always appreciate you having me on your show. Yep. You like Spotify, Brock? I mean, it's all right. I don't like cloud stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm a real under the sea guy. <laughs> Do you That's like the opposite. Yeah, you and Sebastian. Do you collect CDs? Hey, what happened to your head? <laughs> I had brain surgery. 
We never got nice. into that, but but Tracy's head, she has a scar on the side of her head. It's all, yeah. It's better if you don't acknowledge things like that about people. Yeah. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I behaved ungentlemanly. <laughs> Do you, do you have CDs because it has the, the word C in them? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Boy, was I surprised. <laughs> Although I do have CDs with ocean sounds. That's pretty good. Sure, yeah. So, uh, Brock Lovett, for those people who don't, and I can't imagine that uh, anyone doesn't know what you do, but uh, just describe... I mean, you announced it. I'm a treasure hunter. You're a treasure hunter, and the treasure is is not upon the land. It is primarily resides... Under the sea. I specialize in buried treasure. Whoa. Why'd you look at me like that? I thought you'd be interested because of all your piercings. Oh, yeah. Did you get anything cool down there? Yeah. Hey, thanks for asking. This is great. Was all the treasure in a treasure chest, or was it like in a bag, and that's like not a real thing? Because already the the water is enough of an obstacle, but then to add a treasure chest on top of that? Here Here are the different ways you can find treasure under the water. Sometimes it's in a treasure chest. If you're lucky, it'll be overflowing with treasure. And the lid will be like, you can't even close it. Yeah. And that's the best. And yet it will not be floating upwards. <laughs> it'll be spilling out of the... The jewels shell. don't float. Yeah, it's still metal and <laughs> rocks and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, diamonds aren't filled with helium. Why would they... I think you should go check Kulop's wing. <laughs> it sounds like a piece of shit. <laughs> It floats in water. <laughs> so what are the other ways that... Uh... Okay, so that's the best way. Okay. The other way is inside a ship. You can go in there and it's just lying around. Do you ever see dead pirates? All the time. Yikes! The scariest thing you can see underwater is like a guy in an old-fashioned diving suit just like going like this. <laughs> and a bunch of bubbles are coming out of him. That's terrifying. Do you I've, go swimming in fish tanks only? <laughs> I, I'm starting to doubt that you've ever actually what? been in the, the ocean. I've been You're in, just describing an aquarium. I've been in every ocean. <laughs> all, all, hey, uh, how many times have you been down to the sea floor? Uh, I mean, when I go to the beach. You go to the sea floor? I mean, when you just walk out in ankle deep, you're on the sea floor. That's the beach, man. That's not the sea floor. <laughs> You think because you're standing in a little bit of water, you're in the sea floor? Do you turn what, what am I floating on top of the water? Who am I, Jesus? What are you, a diamond? <laughs> I got him. You got him. <laughs> so then the worst way to find treasure is when it's under the sand. Because why? Because you got to dig for it. Oh, duh. Because sometimes you'll just be like waving your hand around, just pushing sand all over the place like no doubloons <laughs> this was a waste of sand pushing how do you know when there's treasure under the sand well we track where wrecks have happened we have metal detectors that work underwater and we have treasure hunters instinct so but, you're born with that maybe but, or maybe it's Maybelline maybe the tests are inconclusive it could but be I do, eyeliner? I do feel good if I put on some eyeliner and I go under the water. But weren't you saying that it's mainly through message boards, treasure hunter message boards? That's how you know. Yeah. I mean, that's, you get a lot of tips, but you still got to go get it. <laughs> Why are people posting it on the message boards and then not getting it? There's, look, you, you ever heard of train spotting? Not the movie, but the practice? Sure. I haven't. These, pe- these are people that are just interested in the schedule of the train. They don't get on the train. They don't drive the train. They got nothing to do with the train except the schedule. Why? There's people like, they're weirdos. <laughs> they oh. just want, oh, okay. Oh. They just want to see the train go by? They just want to make a note of the train's comings and goings. This is a real thing. Wow. And their children? No. <laughs> Okay. So this is like that, but with treasure. Right. So now... Right. (laughs) Glad I answered it to your satisfaction. 
You <laughs> ridiculed me. Excuse me for putting a period at the end of this thought. You ridiculed me, on. then I shut you down in style, and now you answer with right. <laughs> Not sure that's exactly what happened. No, I shut you down with style. Do you want to see the transcripts? <laughs> Send away to Burrell's. <laughs> Get a couple old Oprahs while you're at it. <laughs> a People's Court or two. Was it the only place that did those? They were number one, Burrell's. Why would you want that? I guess if you wanted to put on your own Oprah show at home. I do want to do that. I had a feeling. <laughs> that sounds fun. So now people, people they oh would know God. you, uh, Brock... They would know of your work, at least, because there was a fictionalized version of Ugh. yourself in the movie Man, Titanic. Why does this come up every time? <laughs> yes, the movie Titanic. You were in a movie? He was not no, in a movie. I was played by the actor Bill Paxton. From Fly Away Home? How do you know what that yeah. is? Yeah. Is that a movie or a TV show? It's a movie, but I've never seen it. About the ducks? <laughs> the Mighty Ducks? The hockey team? That's the movie they go The Mighty quack, Ducks. Quack. <laughs> Whatever, move on. Or The Mighty Ducks 2. <laughs> um, Mighty Ducks 2, Mighty Ducks 3. Back in the Quack Attack. <laughs> <laughs> quack Attack is back, Jack. What? I've never seen it. <laughs> So you, uh, uh, Bill Paxton played you in a movie where you were out there doing what y you did in real life, yeah. which is hunting for a certain necklace. That's right. Cor de la Mer. What does that mean, though? The cord of the sea? The heart of heart the of, sea. Heart of the ocean. Yeah. Why would the one word remain the same? It's kind of like how hello is the same in Spanish, just a little different. It's not, though. It's not. You're telling me, hola, is not the same as hello. <laughs> if you're looking in the mirror and facing backwards, babe. She's got you there, Felice. <laughs> got me there? Yeah. She was talking to you. I'm talking to I don't both think of so. you. <laughs> she shut you down in style. What? Did you? Only if you think I did. Well, then, no. <laughs> So you, you, a few years back, you were searching for the Cord de la Mer. Yeah, and, the heart of the ocean. And Can you, you say it with a good accent? What? You're saying Cord de la Mer. It's like Cord de la Mer. Cord de la Mer. Yeah. So you were looking for the Cord de la Mer. And you, you found a lead. And yeah. you thought you had it, and you were talking to this woman, Rose. I had to listen to this lady's story for hours. How old was she? I don't know, 200. <laughs> and then at the end of the story, I was like, this is a cool old lady. We're friends. I finally see that movie. She threw it in the ocean. She never told me that. Does that count as treasure? If it just got thrown in? How does yeah. treasure get there? Tre treasure has to be gotten from uh, ill ill-gotten gains is that what it is no what, that's a thief <laughs> it's not a treasure hunter well you hey hands up i'm a treasure hunter <laughs> give me all the treasure in your pockets are you holding us up oh my house got burned down it could be the work of a treasure hunter <laughs> if you're good if you're really trying to get all treasure i got bad news for you buddy i'm not trying to get your tre I, but I want to tell you, the no. only treasure I have is a dead fly on a leash. He's That's a little not... freak on a leash. <laughs> and the only treasure in Scott's wallet is a million dollars in toonies. <laughs> it's clanging around. I'm so, not interested in your land treasures. Uh, you're really not? No! He, he, he likes to get treasures exclusively in the sea. If it's wet, you bet. <laughs> So that's if, it, your, if it's dry, bye-bye. So that's why your shirt says that on the front and the back? Yeah. I was wondering what if it's wet, you bet meant. <laughs> I feel like Make even if you love? see both sides of the shirt, you don't have any context for me, it's an upsetting T-shirt. But I printed up I printed up 12,000 of them. 
What am well, I supposed and why, to do? Why do you just have a clam with a pearl inside on the back? I feel like people are so turned off by the front that they don't even bother figuring out the back. It must take you so long to wring out all the money or cuz is it paper paper bills as well paper bills i don't know it's gold coins have you ever seen a cartoon it, there are no paper bills it's just gold coins very necklaces. rarely it's paper bills but that doesn't really feel like treasure it's got to be like coins and and precious metals and diamonds and rubies and stuff like that man that's why this necklace was such a big get for me. Yeah. So and you that got old it? lady threw it in the water. Did you ever get it? No. I tried to go back there. And then what happened? I couldn't find it. Did you like hang out by the sewer entrances by there and just hope by it the would... ocean? <laughs> yeah, I went to where the ocean turns into the sewer. He thinks the sand right by the beach there. is the bottom of the sea, <laughs> and you think a sewer in the sidewalk is where the ocean leads? I took my flashlight. I was looking at all the sewer grates. Oh, Where's that you, dang necklace? Did you see Pennywise? The clown? <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you something about that guy? Yeah. Do you know him? No. I think he's terrible at his job. Yeah, because those kids all lived? Yeah. They beat him twice. I read an article about it in case you're wondering. I saw your discerning look. It also was a book. You could have just read that. When he's like, oh, you know, I, I tenderize the, I like to eat fear, and so I tenderize the, the, my victims by making them more afraid. I think he's stalling for time. <laughs> he really is. He doesn't know what to do with this guy. He's an evil clown. He couldn't kill a bunch of kids. Yeah. He sucks. <laughs> now his brother... Pound foolish. <laughs> that guy's great. <laughs> He's super competent. Is he a legal man? A what? A legal man? What does that mean? Like a, a lawyer? Yeah, like a lawyer, an accountant, or something. A notary public. Pound foolish. Why are you asking me? <laughs> he just shut you down. Good. No way. I did it with style. <laughs> so what are you doing in Toronto now? Is there treasure about? There must be. Has any treasure hunter searched through the Great Lake of Ontario? <laughs> I know where I am. I heard that there might be some treasure here because, you know, this is where the Arabian Nights had so many parties. <laughs> But I think I got a bad lead. <laughs> Did you just see a picture in the paper? <laughs> yeah, I saw this picture. It's an old looking picture. And I was like, okay, they've been here. <laughs> I'm sorry that. So it... I got on my banana boat. I was cruising around Lake Ontario, just going, Dale! <laughs> to like echolocate. Didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work. No treasures. Yeah. Did you ever try to echolocate like a dolphin? Like. Yeah, I do it with dolphins. You do? Yeah. Are you friends with them? Some. <laughs> do you ever like. If they're not stuck up. Do you ever stand on two dolphins' backs and like put a rope around them and go like, woo! Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That makes me feel like Aquaman. Do you wear a cape? No. What do you wear to go treasure hunting? I wear, you know, like a wetsuit. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have to wear a wetsuit because I'm in a submersible. I'm like, like a little diving bell. And I go down. It's got headlights and stuff. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah. And then I can see like an old wreck. I can see, you know, treasure chests. I can see a moray eel. <laughs> How, That's how a moray. <laughs> when one of those hits your eye. <laughs> That's a moray. And your eye is gone. I'll be like, there goes a dogfish. It's chased by a catfish. 
Walk lobster? There goes the narwhal. Oh my God, it's a bikini whale. <laughs> These are all the creatures that you see under the yeah. sea. Oh. <laughs> What's that song? What? What song? Um, the atonal sound you made at the end of your... Under the sea. What? I just said under the sea. Say it monotone. Okay. I look for treasure under the sea. <laughs> Can you not hear the difference? What difference are you talking about? Do an impression. <laughs> of him? Of anyone. <laughs> Go! Of anyone? Ah, good to be here. Here's something. <laughs> Why don't we say it? We'll both say under the sea normal at the same time. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'll like, do it as Jay Leno? If you like. Okay. I well, like to find treasure yeah, under, under the, the sea. sea. <laughs> it's the same except he's Jay Leno. <laughs> okay. I guess I'd take your word for it. Why wouldn't you? Because you seem like a skeezy liar. What? <laughs> You guys were getting along so well until you half sang Under the Sea. I'm not... What are you talking hey, about? Hey! See? What? You're singing, and you're denying it. I'm like not Peter. The From apostle who denied our Lord three times? Yeah. From the Before the cock crowed in the Garden of Gethsemane? How dare you? Yeah. I see you've read our favorite book. It's a great book. It's so good. The Immortal Bard. <laughs> so, Brock, what are you going to do in Toronto now that it seems your treasure hunting hopes are dashed? I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a nice town. It's the literal center of the universe. Is it? Toronto? Yeah. Yeah. It's been proven. People know this, right? A I, feel like some people who, I feel like some people who didn't know it pretended they did know it. <laughs> you, uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> wow. I don't know. I thought I could uh, go to my hotel room, write up some interview questions. <laughs> try, try my hand at hosting something. <laughs> I just, you know, the, the first thing I asked you of what are you doing in Toronto immediately did not pan out. What do you mean? Wow, so you, you, you were searching for uh, the treasure that did not appear. Yeah, this was today. Give me a break, man. I so got it yesterday. I went out searching for treasure today, came up empty, and now you're like, what are you going to do now? Buck, Buck, do you, Buck, do you, I, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> do you ever use, like, a metal detector on the beach? I can't do it. Why? That's we, the you land. You have weak arms. What? What a weird leap to make. Your arms are so weak that you try to pick up a metal detector and they just turn into two noodles. Do you know what? This sounds like you're projecting. Oh, you think I have weak arms? I think you're somebody who's tried to use a metal detector and you couldn't wow. do it. I actually have used a metal detector and I found something very interesting, but oh. I guess you don't even care about that since it was on land. <laughs> what did you find? Was this all set up so I'd ask you about <laughs> what you found? No, but it worked out. Well, take a guess. Now I gotta <laughs> guess? <laughs> what what, what if you played hangman? hangman? Okay. Okay, just so you, just, okay, so wait. Eight letters, and the f it's two words. The first word is metal, and the second word is eight letters. The first word is metal. The second word is eight letters. Yeah, and you're playing hangman. Now your time starts right. now. It's not a timed event, though. There are no but penalties. But his time does start now. Okay. okay. Is there a D? Nope, that's a head. Is there a J? Nope, that's a body. Is there a K? Yes, that's the second letter. Out of eight. <laughs> what might come before K? Is there an S? Yes, it comes before K. He knows. I talked to him about what I found. <laughs> SK out of eight. Metal SK out of eight. <laughs> 
Is there an E? Yes. Uh, there are two E's. Where? S K E. S K E space E blank blank blank. What? S K E space E space E. E. And then space, we switch to blanks. Space. Blank blank okay, blank. Okay, well, yeah. sorry. You're not playing BT dubs. It's all about this guy. Yeah, BT dubs. Come on, you're almost there. You know, you know it. Is there a T? Yes. That comes before the O-N. <laughs> Did you find a metal skeleton? Yeah! It was a dead robot. Must have been under there a long time. Uh, yeah, actually, I think it was kind of recent. It was Will Smith's robot maid. He buried her. Why would he bury her on the beach? <laughs> do, you, do you think he murdered her? I'm not so, saying it right now, but I am starting a podcast. Can I tell you something? The beach is a terrible place to, bur- to bury a body. It's real bad. Did you do it before? No. <laughs> Where? I What's didn't kill the, that old lady. Is Rose still with us? Rose, no, she passed. Who is the what youngest, a real shame. Who is the youngest person you've killed? Yeah, good to... Oh. <laughs> I thought we were changing the topic. You can answer it. Look, I'm not a murderer. I'm just a treasure hunter. But you have a buried treasure yourself? Like, you, got, you take so much yeah, treasure take, from the take earth. Take some, leave some. Yeah, take a penny, leave a penny. I've not buried treasure, but I have, at the behest of... A lot of schools where I went and spoke on career days. A lot of the kids will give me a flat Stanley to take around the world with me. I buried all of them under the ocean. You're just supposed to take pictures of it and send it back. I guess I wasn't paying attention. You just took them and buried them? Yeah. That feels creepy. Like you knew it was a little person and you just like dug a hole and put it in. And <laughs> Do you just have a mass grave of flat Stanleys? Is it unmarked or did you label them and give them all names? I feel like we're giving a lot of power to this cardboard cutout. You're the creep who buried him. I'm not a creep. I'm just a treasure hunter. I'm trying to just stay in my lane and do what I know. What's the best treasure you've ever, ever, ever found? Oh, man. I've been waiting for someone to ask me this question. See, Scott? Sorry. You could have asked him that. Now, I'm a treasure connoisseur. I love the stuff. Like ketchup, mustard. (laughs) What do you think I said? You're a treasure connoisseur. You like ketchup, mustard. What do you think that means? Horseradish connoisseur. It's like all the ketchup. No, no, no. What's a treasure connoisseur? That you dip it, a gold coin in ketchup? I don't know. I was going to wait for you to explain I th- I it. I think she's hung up on the word connoisseur. No, I know she is. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to put together the modifier treasure and the word connoisseur that she clearly thinks means something else. Mm. That's a peek behind the curtain. Thank you. So you think I dip, I dip doubloons in ketchup? What yeah. do you think I'd do after that? Dude, I don't want to know. You're nasty. <laughs> Go head out to your mass grave. <laughs> I buried the flat Stanleys in various places. It was not a mass grave. So you don't know where the bodies are buried? But Sure you, I do. You remember where all of them are buried? Yeah, I keep a sort of map of my treasures. <laughs> a treasure map, if you will. So you call the bodies you've buried treasure. Yeah, they're treasure for kids to find. Okay, so what, what's the best treasure you ever got? Oh, I've been waiting for someone to ask me this question. <laughs> now, as you know, a bit of a treasure connoisseur. <laughs> so, like, wait. <laughs> like Trojans or, like... Uh, lifestyles? Yeah. People like the Trojans who probably left treasure in the ocean. Any people had lifestyles like that? Absolutely. So. I follow. I was in 
the Asiatic Sea. Where is that? In Asia. <laughs> I've read... Where'd she go? To get my, to get my flow water. <laughs> oh, the on flow has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to stay on my flow. The water inspired by flow from Progressive Insurance. The lady that launched a thousand waters. That's right. So what'd you find, man? <laughs> I got a tip on a message board. <laughs> About a big dive. I mean, there was a big cache of treasure in the Asiatic Sea. It was said to be the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail? Yeah. Like, whoa. Like Monty Python DVDs? <laughs> Flushed down the toilet of the ocean? Yeah, they got real big in the <laughs> sewer. <laughs> Then they washed out to sea. It was like a weird reverse sewer where the water went out to the ocean instead of the other way around. Uh-huh. You're, of course, talking about Christ's cup yeah. that he drank from... At the Last Supper. At the Last Supper, That's yes. right. Which uh, uh, presumably has mystical qualities, they say. Presumably. But, but still is an intriguing artifact nonetheless, regardless of its... Are you writing magic. an essay? <laughs> It's a cup. The cup of a carpenter. So. So what was it? I go out on my treasure trawler. I get into my diving submersible. And I'm going down, down, down. Down, down, down. Under the sea. Just like Aerosmith. Sure, or Bruce Springsteen. Yep. What? You got one? Are we talking about people who are drowning in pussy? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's a, I honestly don't know. What so happened? I, I get to the ocean floor. The real one. What does it look like down there so Scott can imagine it? It's so dark and murky. Crazy fish live down there. Like those guys with a light bulb on a stalk coming out of their head. Fish that you can see through their brains. Guys like that. Wow. Could you see if they were like doing math? Like you can't see any numbers. Like beautiful minding. Yeah, but you can see if they're thinking real hard. Does it That's more about up? the face. Oh. I know when I'm thinking my brain tightens up. How do you know that? Because water shoots out my ears. <laughs> Asked and answered. <laughs> so I get down there to the bottom of the ocean. Right. Each little clam there, having a jam there. What? Huh? What? what was that song? What are you talking each about? Little, you said, each little clam there having a jam there. Why are you doing that? Are you mocking me? No, that's how you sound. Please, what? Tracy, let him get to the thing that he found. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure. What was it? So I see a wreck. This is an ancient sailing vessel. Hmm. Must go back to the Middle Ages. I can see a banner on it that indicates the Crusades. I feel like this must be real. I'm right. going to find the Holy Grail. And everybody's going to say, Brock, you did it. You found the Holy Grail. So who's I, everybody? Like, who do you want to impress in your life? Please let him get to it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with her asking questions. <laughs> who's like the person in your life that you most want to know that you found the treasure? My dad. And why is that, son? Do you want to role play with Scott as your dad? <laughs> we do not have time for this. <laughs> we're, we're... It could be pretty short. All right. <laughs> but since you don't know my dad, you be me and I'll be my dad. Okay, I know you. I Who know am you. I, the tree? <laughs> 
Are you trying to steal focus? No, never. Hey, Dad. I found some treasure. Let me stop you there. Wait. You're a dumb disappointment and I disown you. Wait. That's not how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to be you and that's your dad. We do that version. No. Because then it's like it's supposed to go like what you dream would happen. But he doesn't know my dad. But he knows probably what you wish. What do you think I wish? You probably want him to wrap you up in a great big hug, uh, a lot like the ocean's embrace. The ocean's embrace is not a big hug, it's death. (laughs) We all get there, but you want him to love you, Brock. Yeah. Okay, so what did you find? (laughs) What was it? I found a case, a wooden case, that was still very strong and very good condition. It was built very well. It took a lot to pry it open. But I finally did. And then inside was? (laughs) It wasn't the Holy Grail. It was something even better. Better than the Holy Grail. And that thing was called? Friendship. (laughs) Wait, so... So what? It was like... So someone you went there with? No, I made this shit up. It was so we could spend more time together. Wow. We were friends with us. Okay. I like that. I like it too. No, the best thing I ever found was like like a half a million dollars in gold. Oh. It was great. That's tight. That was a good day. Yeah. That was a really good day. Yeah. Like we partied on the boat. We're like, we did it. Yeah, I bet. We got, we got hammered. Yeah. We like drank. We drank a ton of beer and tequila. How many people in your crew? How did you? Just like split seven it up? guys. Yeah. Do you guys, think it's like yeah. cool to say you drank a ton of beer and tequila? Yeah, I'm a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. All right, Brock. Brock, love it, everyone. <laughs> All right. We have um, two more special guests here uh, coming up right now. Uh, they uh, comprise one act, but they are two people. Uh, they are a one tr- wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? Wonderful. W- wonderful? Yeah. Are you like Medea? <laughs> 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 they're they're an incredible uh grouped <laughs> <laughs> they are a they're at the top of the charts right now i'll tell you that much they are a uh country music band please welcome brantley eldon harlan haywood memphis kansas breeze How's everybody? Hey. Yeah! Hello, Hello Canada! Yeah. All right. Oh! Hello, hello, hello. everybody! Oh. You know what, Brandon? I'll tell you one damn thing. This show is a lot of Canadians out here. <laughs> a lot of Canadians. Yeah. Yeah, hello, we are Memphis, Kansas Breeze. Uh, Just gonna get right into it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, we, we kind of ran out of time back yeah, then. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do? Please, uh, no <laughs> more questions from you. <laughs> well, maybe I'd like to know, too. Yeah. Well, we are a country music duo. We okay. Are the, uh, that's it? Yeah. Uh, we're the number one band for southern men who watch stepmom porn. Yes. Oh, it sounds like something Scott would like. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's, hey, 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 hey. that's how he found us. Yeah. <laughs> we advertise on those little weird banners yeah. next to the porn. 
Most, what is most your ad our, like? Our, our ad is uh, definitely a digital woman having sex <laughs> with her stepson. Yeah. <laughs> and our songs are over it. A digital we woman? We drew it. <laughs> yeah. She it's, is green. The woman is green. Oh, okay. Our drawings have been described <laughs> as crude. Yeah. <laughs> Is now is that for what they're doing in the drawing, or is that because they're such bad drawings? A little bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible penmanship. Yes. And disgusting, and disgusting. position. <laughs> yeah. What's the nastiest position they do? Uh, uh, well, <laughs> hole to hole. <laughs> Hold to hold. And it's we don't good. tell you which holes they are. It's really good for no one. Yeah. <laughs> are you sure you don't want me to keep interviewing them? Yeah, please. So you, you, uh, uh, you sing songs. We You're, do sing songs, yeah. You duet on them. Yes. Yeah, we duet on them. And you were, you were on the show once before. We were, yes. And you uh, sang your, what, what is your big hit again? Uh, we sang, well, we, should we just go into it? Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah. Why don't we just go into it? Why don't you hit that number one for us there, Harlan? Oh, yeah, Harlan. Oh, yeah, Brantley. It's Saturday night, time to have some fun Gonna drink some beers, gonna shoot my gun Then I notice the date's 223 And that's a birthday to someone special to me So I got some candles and I got some cake And I told everyone to meet me by the lake I got in my truck four years ago today And I guess it that makes it this truck's birthday Pick a truck birthday party, everyone's invited the truck, honk their horns, and they get excited. Pick a truck, birthday party, having a blast. I got him a birthday cake made of gas. And instead of party hats, the trucks wear traffic cones. And instead of a clown, the trucks hire a mechanic. They're singing happy birthday, trucks honk their horns. Some do car alarms, but most honk horns. Honk, honk, trucks birthday. Honk, honk, truck's birthday. Honk, honk, truck's birthday. Oh! Thank you! God! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That's called Pick Up Truck Birthday Good Party. party. <laughs> Parentheses. Truck's, truck's birthday. birthday. <laughs> that song is playing simultaneously right now on every single country station in America. I don't know if it's made it up to Canada yet, but it's on its way. I tell you that much. It's in the truck. It is. The on tapes are in the truck. Way. Tapes are in the truck. <laughs> they are in the truck. They're driving them up. That. They're driving the tapes up. <laughs> That's on, how music is there. You yeah, drive the you tapes drive it up. up here. On a truck. The music that truck. is made in America gets driven up in trucks. Yeah. And then they just throw them out in the water, and people got to go to the beach and to pick them up. <laughs> so like, oh, oh man. You would listen to Can't them. they throw them a little bit further? <laughs> no. Maybe put little pebbles in there so they'll sink? <laughs> they don't have passports, the truck drivers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's terrible. Yeah, it seems, <laughs> seems like a, a, a flaw in the system. <laughs> They have to throw them over the border. <laughs> but yeah, that's got to be. But that's there. your that's your big hit. That's our one of our big hits. Um, yeah, that's we got incredible. some other hits. I know you you have some others that you sang on the song before, but yeah. um, I, I, as a true Memphis <laughs> Kansas Breeze <laughs> yes. fan, I really want to hear some of that new stuff. Some of that new you know stuff. That new stuff. Yeah. All right. So y'all trying to hear that new stuff? So we are gonna skip ahead yeah. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. We're going to skip ahead. Uh, let me kick my set list yeah. out here. You brought a this set is, list this for is real three new. songs? This is real new. This one's real new, requires a set list. Requires a set list, yeah. Does it require any glasses? <laughs> it does. I will be looking down for most of this. Yeah. Let's go ahead to Check track four. number four, Harlan. Oh, oh, right, Harlan. And all right, Bradley. Something ain't right, 
something's going wrong I spent the last four nights alone I can't believe it took me this long to see I think my truck wife's cheating on me I can't get no sleep, I can't get no rest Gonna make her take a lie detector test And if that sounds silly, if it sounds strange A lie detector test for trucks is just an oil change Rock ball dude was named by this dude His name is Mikey Works at the Jiffy Lube Gonna hook her up the drain of oil, get the truth Oil change <laughs> And what I found out was a real shame though Mike said she kissed a Dodge Durango And in the 10W40 So a semi-truck orgy Oil change Sing it with me Yeah Two beep beep hop two beep two beep beep hop two beep beep hop beep two beep two toil change. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's a nice. That's nice. <laughs> oh, Memphis that's Kansas really nice. Breeze. Please take a load off. Oh, you worked hey, hard. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, that, now that's, that skipped a little bit. Usually we set up that uh, we have relationships with our trucks. No, 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 that, wasn't, that was clear. I got okay, that part. Okay, all right. Seems like, <laughs> seems like people knew that, but for yeah, anybody who's sure. new out there. No, I figured from the truck birthday song, I'm like, oh, okay, these yes. guys are intimate with trucks. Okay, good. In the first song, <laughs> I understood that when trucks get excited, yeah. they honk their horns. Yeah, some of them... Do car alarms. So, Some, but most honk their horns. Most honk their horns. <laughs> but at the end of this song, when you guys were saying honk and toot back and forth, I didn't know what was going on there. <laughs> well, see, when we sing our second song, we usually just start doing random honks, beeps, and toots. Oh, I see. You really have to I understand see. that Canadia's on a different time schedule. Yeah. Than right, okay. <laughs> that's, that's track two you. on every album. You, you slip those in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a multiple bars where you should have lyrics, but you give up and you just go toot, beep, honk. Okay. <laughs> and, and that one was called Oil Change, I, I that guess? That was called Oil, oil Change. change. Parentheses, parentheses, my, my truck wife my truck is cheating, cheating on me. me. <laughs> yeah. My truck wife's cheating on me. Is that based on real experiences? Yes. Yeah. It was devastating for us. It was a yeah, very you, hard as time. You hear it, it happened to both of you guys? Yeah. Yes. Are you dating the same truck or married to her? They were friends. They were friends. <laughs> they were friends. And they got the idea from each other. That sucks, man. I'm it sorry. It really sucks. Yeah. It sucked for us. That's a, a real betrayal. <laughs> it was. But Are you guys know. dating anyone now? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the deal. Those... Our wives, those trucks, mm -hmm. they <laughs> <laughs> they repented in a way, if you will. They repented. Oh, they yes. repented. And, uh, and it, it actually inspired some more new some music. More new music. Oh, what? really? Yeah. yeah. More oh, new music. There's more yeah. new music. Based upon them repenting. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. Sort yeah. of. Yes. I'd love to hear it. You would? Yeah. It, it, unless you're too winded from the previous song. I do seem to be sitting really low <laughs> and tired. <laughs> you would think I play stadiums. Let's go ahead and do track number five for it. All right, Harlan. All right, Brantley. Yeah. Yep. Harlan's playing. Harlan's playing. He's doing it. Some trucks drive that windy road, but my truck's on the straight and narrow. And some trucks like to smoke and drink, but my truck keeps his eyes on the sparrow. My truck is going to church, he's got his Bible in his hand, and it's just his owner's manual. He's bringing trucks to the Lord. Truck Jesus is the monster truck grave digger. Truck sinning is wasting gas and driving around. With the check engine light on So get down on your tires and pray My truck found God today Toot, beep, beep, honk Toot, beep, beep, honk Honk, beep, toot, beep Beep, 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 beep Honk, beep, toot, honk Honk, honk, honk Thank you Oh 
That took a lot out of you. Damn. God damn. Hey, did you know? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Harley. I'm glad I asked about the honking and tooting in the <laughs> previous song, because now I get it. Now you get it. It made sense in the context it of did, yeah. the next song. Um, yeah, that's called like- uh, Our <laughs> Truck Found God today. Yeah. Parentheses. <laughs> Monster <laughs> Truck Grave Graveyard. Digger. G- grave Digger. <laughs> Monster truck graveyard dick. Parentheses, parentheses. Mm hmm. Truck's yep. Bible is just its owner's manual. <laughs> yes. This is like Inception. We're just going to keep going further and further yeah, into parentheses. Not, not much deeper you can go with this. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we can't even field questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's just going to be it. No, 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 no. We, we got all the backstory. We know our, our characters. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's our show, everyone. <laughs> Carl Tart. <laughs> Drew Tarter. <laughs> Paul F. Tompkins. <laughs> Lauren Lapkus. Scott, Scott Ackerman. Ackerman. We love you, Durango. Thank you, Durango.